That was a long description. This ain't even making sense. Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought it would be fun to share my favorite spring summer lip products. So I have rounded up some things here about kind of a variety of different colors and sort of finishes and different types of lip products. So yeah, I will show you some swatches on my lips and also on my hand that is already stained from other lip products. So we're just gonna chat about spring summer lip products. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off is a gloss. This is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream and this is in Pink Champagne. And it is a gorgeous kind of light, um, glowy, neutral, cool toned pink. That was a long description, but you get the idea. It's just a beautiful neutral color, but I love it. It's more on the pinky side. So it's just a very fresh sort of a look. Don't mind the stains on my hand and don't mind if you see some glitter particles because so I was swatching glitter. So if you see those, it's not the lip products. So there is that glossy. Um, this is a very, it's a tacky sort of a gloss, but I really, really like this formula. Um, I applied too much, so it's looking, it's kind of sticking, you know what I mean? So don't apply too much. You really don't need that much, um, but it is very, it makes your lips look very full. I think because it's so glossy, it does have a cooling sensation on the lips, not tingly uncomfortable. It's just that cooling sort of sensation um, and it's supposed to be kind of plumping, but I feel like it's maybe slightly plumping, but more so just the gloss makes your lips look very full. But I love this color. Next up is another kind of everyday, not super neutrally, but just still not over the top sort of a color for spring and summer. I love this. This is one of the Revlon Super Lustrous um, Shine, I believe that they're called. This, yes, it says shine right on it. Shine in Beaming Strawberry. Beaming Strawberry. I absolutely love this. It is, I would say kind of a, um, oh, like a corally pink. And you can see in this swatch, you can definitely build it up and get it more of a bright sort of a pink, but I didn't apply too, too much. And you can see it's a little bit, not as bright corally, but still has some fun pop to it. It's a glossy, comfortable formula. It's one that you can throw it in your purse. It feels hydrating on the lips. It feels really comfortable. So it just looks more effortless because it's shiny and um, not super defined, you know what I mean? And just so light catching. Beautiful color. Next up is this fun pop of pink. So this is more of a bright pink. This is the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Color. And this is in Miami, oh, I just, uh, hang on, Miami Nights. Miami Nights. So this does definitely have more of a tingle on the lips. So if you don't like that, just FYI, this definitely has that. It's nothing over the top, but I mean, I definitely can feel the tingle. It's not to the level of the Too Faced um, lip injection, but you can feel it. You can feel the tingle. But look at that fun pop of pink. It's borderline a neon pink. Some would say a neon pink. Can't get brighter than this, but it's pretty bright. Um, it's kind of more of a satiny, slightly glossy sort of a finish to it. Sets down a little bit as you wear it. I think it's a very comfortable formula. I like the packaging to it. It's just a happy, fun pink. This one is great. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Seek Adventure. So if you're looking for a pop of pink, like a springy, summery pink, but that's not over the top neon bright, like not like the last one, but you still want to pop a color. I have a Chester hair somewhere. Where did it go? <laughs> I think it fell off, so hopefully it's not on the swatch, but if you want a pop of pink, but you don't want crazy neon, this is awesome. It has a little bit of a subdued sort of a property to it, but it's this great mid-tone pink, so it's still really fun, and it's still a pop of color, but obviously not as bright as this one, so it's more of a satiny finish. These are very long-wearing. Another thing I love about this um, it just, when you put it on, 
you can eat, you can drink, and it really sticks around. Not to this level of brightness and not this exact color, but you definitely have a stain and color to your lips left behind. It is not an overly hydrating formula, but I wouldn't say it's crazy drying and uncomfortable, but it is more of that long wearing satin matte sort of a finish and feel on the lips. But look how beautiful. Love that the packaging matches, so that's really easy. It's great for throwing in your purse. It's a one and done sort of a lip product. They're great. Okay, so this one, y'all, I know this is not gonna be for everyone, and I would not wear it like this by itself, but I really, really like this. So this is one of the Dose of Colors. Um, I think these are called the Satin Lipsticks, and this is in Moki. Obviously, it's a really light, very opaque, light pink. And it's more on the lavendery side. So I would definitely wear this ombre. Like it would look beautiful ombre with that. Great formulas to wear together. Those, you know, kind of satiny sort of formulas. And then just pop a little bit of this on the inner corners of, not inner corners, inner part of your lips. Just to get that kind of ombre petal sort of look to the lips. Really pretty and a very comfortable formula. So I really like the formula. I think the packaging is cool on it. I love the color but not by itself. So don't look at this and go, holy moly, just wear it ombre with something else and it'll be a really fun pink. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this one. So this is from e.l.f. It's one of their, it's called a, the Seriously Lipstick and this is in Taffy. This is literally like, I think three bucks or something and it's awesome. Great formula to it, more of a satin finish. So I really like the formula. I like the packaging, I think it's cool basic plasticky whatever but i think it's still cute and cool that you can see the you know like how it's made and like the inner part of it that's cool and this color y'all it's so beautiful and i really feel like it's unique it's almost like how oh, isn't gonna even make sense <laughs> i was gonna say like a springy terracotta sort of a color it's like a little bit moving towards that but it's got this um corally tone to it and like a petally flowery sort of <laughs> corally color this ain't even making sense but you see it there do you see how it's a unique color there's really not a lot like this and it looks really pretty and flattering on the lips and it wears well great formula to it great price point and really a unique color this one just screams spring i mean this is a pop it is a statement it's a glossy bright corally shade and i really like this formula this is the revlon ultra hd vinyl lip polish and this is in power up power up so these have a strong sweet scent to them. Scent on, I haven't mentioned scent on them, but Buxom, the gloss has a really nice scent to it. The Revlon has a light scent to it. And the Maybelline Ink Crayon has a pretty strong sweet scent to it, but I like the smell. So this one is very um, sweet smelling. So it does have a strong fragrance to it, but it smells good. So one thing I would say about these is you don't need a lot of product has a doe foot applicator to it, just kind of a, a subtle doe foot. So that's kind of the packaging on it. I really like that the cap matches it, that's cute. I like when lip colors are happy. That's one thing I really like about drugstore lip products is a lot of times it's like this, where the packaging matches the inside. I don't know, I just like that. So don't use a lot of this, but wow, look at that full on color. It's happy, it is bright. It's comfortable. It is a tacky sort of a formula, but I like that about it. It kind of sticks around on the lips, um, but you can see if you use too much, it is gonna kind of stick together more. So just use a very thin layer of it and you're still gonna get great coverage, great opacity, lots of shine, really a nice formula to this. And last up, this is another statement lip. This is one of the Maybelline, one of their newer shades, and this is in Pink Thrill, Pink Thrill. And you can see that it's more of a fuchsia, kind of purpley sort of a pink. Wow, it is stunning. It's really beautiful on the lips. I mean, this formula is so comfortable and affordable. They are some of my very favorite lipsticks and 
they're just kind of tough to beat. They do have a Play-Doh-y sort of a scent, but I don't mind that. They've always kind of smelled like this, so I'm totally fine with it, but just FYI. Um, but just a really comfortable, very flattering formula. It looks nice on the lips, it wears well, and just the color of this is so bright and beautiful, and I love that it's a fuchsia with just a little hint of purple. Too much purple, I think, just for me, doesn't work very well, so I like that this is just a hint of purpley tint to it. It's gorgeous. Okay, so those are all my picks for spring summer lip products. I just think this is so fun. This is so much fun right here. So bright and happy. Yes. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what kind of colors you love in the spring and summer, either neutrals or pinky tones or corals or purples or whatever. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.